Hello everyone, I'm Valentin the Mad and this is a gore view of Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Chivalry is an action game set in the medieval times with big emphasis on combat and gore. I'll be reviewing every aspect of the game's gore effects and the score will be set based on four categories body damage, environment, animations and sounds, the feel. Head and limbs can be dismembered with one dismemberment point for each limb. In addition to that, the head can be destroyed which looks pretty cool. Torsos have no dismemberment to them, which means that you can't cut people in half. Taking the weaponry and the armor that you have in the game, it kind of makes sense. Now the non-dismemberment hit marks are very weird in this game, and let me explain. In combat, especially with the heavier weapons involved, you will see most of the time that blood is just sprayed around the body. It always looks the same and you won't be able to tell where the character was hit even if your and your family's life depended on it. That led me to believe there are no locational hit marks. But as I was experimenting with the archer's knife, I found out I was wrong. As you can see, locational hit marks work and work pretty well most of the time. But in order to actually see it happen, I had to attack dead bodies with a small knife. It's really weird because the feature is literally dead, but for some reason it is disabled for most of the weapons. If they expanded this feature, it would look absolutely amazing and make a huge difference. As for arrows, they will be stuck in the body after impact. It looks good most of the time, but there are no hit marks at the impact location, and in general, seeing a guy charge at you with an arrow sticking out of his chest looks rather weird. There are also several fire weapons in the game, however, there are no burning signs on the body after using them. If something, I saw a character getting covered in blood while he is burning to death. Blood will stay in the ground, walls, and basically any object it comes in contact with. Each hit will cause two blood stains. And I noticed it's true for every weapon I play with. That means that both a small archer's knife and a huge axe will stay in the ground in exactly the same way. Also, the bloodstains themselves aren't very varied. There's literally two or three of them and they don't look great. One more thing I noticed is that after amputation, blood will keep spraying. You can see the blood hit the surface but leave no stains. Also should be noted the two weapons get blood stains on them after cutting someone. However, Chivalry nails one aspect that the vast majority of other gory games absolutely fail. The amount of bodies and blood on the field is configurable. In the settings menu, there is a limit of 100 bodies and 300 blood decals, which is about as much as my PC can handle right now without significant FPS drops. However, you can set the number even higher if you read the config INI files. You can find a guide to do that in the video description. It should also be noted that dismembered limbs stay as long as the body stays, which is again something Gore games rarely have. The only thing that disappears quickly is pieces of skull and brain from a destroyed head, but it's no big deal. Why is the staying blood and bodies important? It makes the atmosphere of a gritty battlefield. Having blood and bodies disappear with no option to make them stay has always been a huge turn off for me in games. Chivalry, however, handled the situation very well. You can have a field full of bodies and dismembered limbs, or you can set the amount to zero if your PC can't handle it. 
chivalry is combining death animation with ragdoll effects and it looks great for the majority of the time. The animation is activated according to the attack that finished the character. I also seen how some animations blend together. I saw a character getting killed by impalement and as the animation plays someone took his armor. And when that happened the character looked in terror at where his arm used to be. It was absolutely beautiful and brutal. It is a turn off that when a death animation is played, you can walk through characters. That stuff makes no sense and really breaks immersion. What I would do is that if a dying guy is blocking your way, you would have to attack him to finish him off, make him fall down and clear the path. You can often hear someone who just killed keep making sounds while lying absolutely still on the ground. I think that adding a 5 or 10 seconds animation of Wiggling on the ground would fix it and make the game much more brutal. Another turn off is that there are only 3 states of health for characters in the game. Alive and kicking, in death animation and death. Which means that if you survive a few sword blows, your character will act exactly the same as if you just spawned unharmed. And as I mentioned earlier, you can see a guy running perfectly fine with an arrow sticking out of his chest. Unfortunately, this kind of stuff is way too common in the game. Now the sounds is where chivalry really shines. The sounds are absolutely glorious and make every hit to be very satisfying. The sounds of weapon hits and flash, the blood spilled on the ground, along with screams both from the attacker and the attack, and the moans of someone dying nearby make every big sword fight to be a symphony of brutality. Just hear for yourself. All in all, it works. Chivalry has a good combat system, and while the gore has a few serious flaws, it still feels very satisfying. The game delivers a very good feeling of a gritty medieval battlefield, and this is basically why I bought Chivalry in the first place. So the score for body damage is 14 out of 30. The score for environment is 18 out of 30. The score for animations and sounds is 20 out of 30. I give the film a score of 7 out of 10. So this gives the gore system a total score of 59 out of 100. Keep in mind that the game keeps getting patched. And if this video happens to reach developers and they will do a significant update for the gore system, I will post an update video as well. Hope you enjoyed watching the review. Let me know how you feel in the comments. And if you liked the video, subscribe and share it with your friends. Until next time.